What is up guys, The Casey's here, and today we're working on part five of our social media app. So let's get right on into it. Um, so what do we got going here? We got our feed working. Um, to some extent we got the sign out. We got um, our share something cells working. And then, Let's see about the manager server. I think we, we need to start working on the post cells, if I remember correctly. Okay, so we have the layout of our cell up, but we need to create a new cell in view. Click new file. And um, I might just copy some of this code from our last one just to save time on the video. Um, what do you want? Cocoa Touch class. Next. UI table view can cell. And this can be a post. So, okay, next, or enter, and then create. All right, sweet, so we got this. So I just copied this code and edited it a little bit. Um, just to save time, I'm going to go over it. You guys can write this for good practice. Um, we have our user, user image, username, and post text. Those are the IB outlets that we got here. We have a variable uh, for our post on the cell uh, of type post. We haven't created that yet. Um, we don't really need this user post key. Um, current user. Um, we're getting that from our keychain wrapper, and then we're creating a delegate here. Configure cell. We're setting the current post to the post being passed in. Username text. We're getting that from the post. Uh, setting the post text from the post, and uh, then we're downloading the user's image and setting it to the user image view right there. All right, sweet. So we got that. Make sure and do that stuff. Uh, hopefully that made a little bit of sense. If it didn't, uh, leave a comment below. I can explain it a little bit more if you need help with that. But let's go to our model and create a new model, a uh, new file. This is going to be a Swift file. Click next. This is going to be of type post. So we're going to call it post. And I'm going to go on to GitHub just to save time again copy this one all right so here is the post uh, data structure that we're gonna be using we have a private variable for username user image post text and of course we need the post key uh, I don't think we really need the reference but we'll leave that there just in case later on we need the reference um, and then we are creating a getter for the username, user image, post text, post key, and then an initializer. Uh, in classes, you need initializers. So this is our initializer. And um, then we also have this initializer, um, which is the one that we usually use, especially when we're grabbing all of the data, because we can just use a dictionary, which is really nice. And we're setting the username, user image, post text, and this. And then we also have the post reference. So save that, create that um, if you don't have it yet. And then when we go back to post cell, a few things should be fixed. Um, what's going on here? I think this is a dot get or something like that, get data. So let's see, dot get metadata, get data. Yeah, I was right. So, get data, ref dot get data. We can build that, and hopefully this all compiles. Don't know why I said the build failed, so we will see. Fix that. So ref dot get data max size completion. Okay, sorry if you guys built all that and you're like, what's this error? Um, so we fixed that, and then we're gonna head over to our storyboard and get all of that linked up, and then in the uh, in our, uh, what you can call it, post or uh, feed VC, we're going to get this stuff linked up. Of course, we haven't created any posts, we haven't added that functionality yet. We'll add that in the next video, uh, but we should get this all working pretty soon. So, over here on the side, we see our table view uh, cell. We need to create that or set the type to um, what will we create it? Post cell. And once you do that, if you right click, now we're gonna have our outlets. So post text, we'll link that up. Username, link that up. User image, 
There's gonna be right there. Um, and that's all we need. Uh, when they click comments, this is gonna take them to the new feed. And what else we gotta do? Uh, that's it. That's pretty simple, actually. Save that. Um, so everything there should be working. Now if we go to feed VC, um, what we gotta do, what we gotta do? We're gonna say, create a function and we're gonna call this get posts and um, we're just gonna call the Firebase database so database dot database dot reference dot child and this can be posts and then dot observe single event of dot event or value dot value I think and then click enter snapshot tab and then for our code um, we are going to here let, let's uh, go over here real quick I always forget this part I'm gonna open up the feed VC over here. Well, we're gonna do something new. Um, we're gonna say guard let snapshot equal. There, I'll just paste it in right there. And then we're gonna say else return. Okay. So basically, if you guys don't know what a guard statement is, um, the code is going to hit this variable right here. It's going to be snapshot. And if it is, if basically there is a snapshot with children, then we can uh, convert those children. Let's say, what did I call it? Did I say something different? Oh, I didn't spell snapshot right. <laughs> snapshot. Snap hot. Uh, snapshot. If this value doesn't exist, it's going to call else, and it's just going to return. Uh, basically, we don't want to be continuing with this code if there is um, no children, okay? And then, after that, we can say for, um, yeah, for snap, or for data in snapshot, because it's an array. Um... We can. I just copied that code and I'm gonna say um, guard let again. I like the guard statements. I don't know why. They're really nice. And otherwise, oh, we're gonna say else return. Perfect. Uh, so, same thing here. We're creating a, a new guard statement. What's the same? I think I like it like this. Okay. Um, underneath here we can say let post equal post. And then we're going to create that one right there. Post key is going to be post or data.key, I think. Data.key. And then our post data is going to be post or dictionary and then we need to create an array up top um, to store these variables in so it's gonna be var uh, posts because we can change it um, posts equals it's an array of type post and initialize it right there and we're just gonna say posts or what did it say self self dot posts dot append uh, post and uh, you don't want your variables to be capitalized so let's like so and then also ooh, where is it? we need to right underneath snapshot guard let snapshot we need to say posts dot removal perfect and I think the snapshot is actually going to be reversed dot reversed um, so the new elements are at the top of our feed 
And what does it say about this? Self.post and move on. Perfect. And then after this for statement, we need to say table view dot reload data. Perfect, perfect. Implicit self statement. Okay, self dot table view dot reload data. Um, what else we gotta do here? Um, okay, so in our number of rows in section, we need to say one plus uh, posts dot count. So that plus one is because we have that share something cell. So we have to do that in addition to the posts dot count. And then down here, after we have our first share something cell, we're gonna we're gonna use this guard let statement here. I've never seen it until recently. Um, guard let cell equal table view dot dq reusable cell with identifier uh, post cell else we're going to return UI table view perfect and then we can delete this at the bottom and then we can say uh, what's the Oh, you have to use cell, like so. We can say cell dot configure cell. Oh, we have to say as after here as um, post cell. And we say cell dot configure cell, and post is going to be posts index path dot row perfect and then we're just going to say return so so this is a little simple um, I, I like this a lot more than this code up here um, it's a lot cleaner fresher uh, looks better so obviously it is better um, guard let so basically if the cell if there is no table view with a reusable cell post cell, it's just going to return a UI table view cell, which is the default one. And then after that variable is initialized, we're configuring it with a post cell because we said as type post cell. And then uh, we're just returning the cell. And if this isn't true, don't worry, it's not going to crash because it's automatically returning a UI table view cell. So this code is never even called, which is one great reason about using a guard statement um and i think that this is all we need to do here um if i'm not mis mistaking it actually is all we need to do and then in the next video we just need to create a way to make posts and then after that um we have to read comments and make comments which is very similar to posts because it really is the same exact thing just with different names so, if we can get 10 likes on this video by Friday, by the end of Friday, on Saturday I'll be dropping the next episode for this video. Thank you guys for watching the video. If you liked it, please give it a big thumbs up. If you haven't subscribed already, what are you waiting for? Please subscribe to the channel. And um, if you guys have any nice comments, please leave those below. If they're not nice, you don't have to watch my videos. I mean, I'd rather you not watch them anyways. Um, but uh, have a good one. Hopefully I'm feeling better soon. Um, I might be posting a new one for this series this weekend. A lot of good stuff's been happening, good vibes. And uh, I'll see you guys in the next video. Peace.